Hello, my friend. This is Clyde. Today, I want us to have a meaningful conversation about something that is commonly talked about, that we very often take for granted, something that is important to our lives. But I hope that our conversation can bring a fresh perspective. Before I say to you what it is, let me read one verse from the Bible. Ephesians 5 and verse 1, it says, Follow God's example, therefore, as dearly loved children and walk in the way of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Let us talk about love. Let us compose some sentences, starting with two words, love is. The first thing I probably want us to say or to admit is love is a hard act to follow. This writer is asking me, is asking you to follow God's example. What is God's example? <laughs> we see where the Bible says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Seriously? Is that the model of love that God is asking us to follow? A love that will require that I give up my best, my most treasured possession, that I will give up my son to show that I love the person. Think about it. A second sentence is that love is sacrificial. Love is sacrificial. If you are going to love someone, it is going to cost you. And I'm not just talking about money. Yes, I know, I know that money is significant. But it costs you so much that it is not necessarily your desire to give so much or to spend so much but it somehow becomes the wisest thing to do. Love costs time, it costs energy, it costs effort, it costs thinking. Love costs. And so if I'm going to love, if I'm going to love a child that is born to me, I can't just think that I'm going to give this child the minimum and say that I love him or I love her. There cannot be any end to how much I will give. Third sentence. <laughs> how are we doing so far? Love is painful. Love is painful. The love experience sometimes causes pain, especially at the emotional level. You can think of so many situations where you love someone and they hurt you, they let you down, they do not reciprocate emotionally, they ignore you. It hurts, it hurts real bad. But somehow you are being invited to rise above the hurts, to forgive the hurt and to keep on loving. Love is painful. But guess what? Love is rewarding. Love is rewarding. When you start to experience a reciprocal feature, in that relationship. When your child turns around and says that, Daddy, I love you, and gives you a big old hug, 
daddy you're my favoriteest friend in the whole world and gives you a big old hug and smile when your child draws the funniest looking picture and and writes on it i love you in the worst kind of scribble it is so rewarding when your wife responds to you in a very positive and exciting way love is rewarding love brings joy it brings happiness it brings peace of mind well, finally don't forget the verse that we started off by reading love is a testimony love is a statement love is a model trust me when you are loving in the truest way when the person who you love is responding others will look on and they will be like wow i want to experience that myself i want to be able to do that myself and so with all the challenges and pain and sacrifice that loves love brings love also brings a reward so my friend think about it and today let's step it up let's love in the truest way following god's example <music>